Today I'm going to show you how to make this super cool unisex bracelet out of bare copper wire. And I'm using a from my big roll of seven strand copper wire. So for the bracelet, I'm going to cut about a 15 inch piece of wire. I'm just going to hold this so I can just open these wires up a little bit so they'll be more accessible to cut them. Do not use your best cutters with this because they're uh, very thick wires. If you could get the seven strand wire in 20 gauge, it would definitely be easier to work with. But this is the one I just happen to have. So we want to cut through all of these layers. And then what you want to do is pull one of these back to about three inches. And then we're going to take this and just really wind it around a few times. So as much as you can like I would want like at least four to five turns around so it looks quite solid and then just bring it in as much as you can and just give it a little pinch to hold it in place really pinch in that end and then what you want to do now is just open up these wires so we're just going to open them all the way to find out which one is most in the middle so whatever one is in the middle leave it there and then we're just going to go around and clip these other wires so just go around and clip them as low down as you can just so we can get rid of them sometimes it helps just to give it a nip and then you bend it back and forth we just want to get all these little ends get them all cut and then if you need to if you have sharp ends there you can go ahead and file them if you need. You can also just with your pliers just bend it, push like that and then your ends magically go inside the coil. So just work your way around, push that up and the ends will kind of disappear in that coil. So then what we want to do is we're going to form a loop. So go ahead and cut this to about a good half an inch maybe a little bit more depending on how big you want your loop and then take your round pliers your larger round pliers and then just bend it back and around okay it's because we want this end to be right in there okay we're going to just make a full turn so that end is solid and then what you want to do is discover like how big this has to be so we're going to just bring it around if you have a bracelet chart to tell you like about the sizes that's great you could probably print one off on the internet so I have very tiny wrists this wouldn't be for me this would be more like a guy's bracelet I would think and so now you're going to decide where your other end has to be and again we're going to pull these wires back to that space so say we want it to about there and then we're going to bring this one around and around and around do it about the same amount you did on the other side around like that okay and it's doesn't doesn't really matter where you end it and then we're going to clip that and then we'll just give it a little push in there to make sure it's right in there and same thing we're going to unravel these just unravel them a little bit there we go we'll take them all out like that and out and then we'll leave the one that's in the middle we'll leave that in the middle and then we're going to go through and clip these ends again so just try to get in there as far in as you can with your pointy cutters let's go right in there give it a little pinch make sure you don't cut the inner one because we're going to use that so pinch all these get them all cut out you can file them or it works really well if you just kind of push them inside that spring so we're just going to push them inside there to hide them and then this end we can do like a little hook thing so just keep it super simple and we're going to take our larger round pliers and just take this and bring it back 
Okay, just bring it around like that. Not too big, we don't want it too big. So around there, and then we have to finish that end, otherwise it's gonna to be too sharp. So take this, bring it around, bring it around here, and then to make that one smaller, just hold this like that and give it a little tug, like I do in some of my other tutorials to make smaller loops. If you just give it a little, hold the wire and give it a little tug, it makes it smaller. So then we have that little hook there, just bend it and push it in a little more. If you need it a little more small, just to get it in there. So now what we're gonna do with one of the scraps is just make a good size loop. So we need a kind of a jump ring. So we're gonna bring this one around, make it a decent size, like could be almost half an inch, three eighths to half an inch. And then we're going to cut it uh, flush here on one side. So just cut it across. If you have a jewelry saw, it would actually be better because it would saw it like very flush. So we're gonna cut this across here. And then what we need is our flat pliers. So we actually need two pairs. So we're gonna hold it with one side and hold it with the other side and just flick of the wrist, just bend it open like that. Take our bracelet, we'll take it with the flat pliers and just, again, just rotate it back into place. If it doesn't quite line up, just take your flat pliers and push it in that way. And there we have our little jump ring to attach the bracelet. And we're just going to loop it in there. And it's very, very heavy duty. If you don't have this seven strand 18 gauge copper, or if you find it too heavy, too bulky, you can twist together seven strands of 20 gauge wire and make a more delicate bracelet with the same technique. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and wire jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. I'll link it up below. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you want to sign up below, I'll send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.